when he died, the last words I heard was, love you, perfect. Can't beat that. Inseparable from the moment they met. 46 years, we were still on the honeymoon. Judy Luby of Apache Junction says she and her husband Bob were soulmates. Proud to serve his country. Yes, definitely proud. Bob was an Air Force vet. He died back in 2007. His battles were over, but Judy's were just getting started. Is this aggravating? I'm trying to be very calm and nice about it. She's talking about dealing with the VA or the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. She applied for survivor death benefits not once, not twice, but four times. They had everything they needed. My God, they've got, they could wallpaper a room. Over and over, Judy says the VA kept asking for copies of her marriage license and death certificate, so she sent them yet again, this time certified mail, received and signed for. Still, she was denied. And this little old soldier just refuses to go away. They want you to surrender, is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Ain't happening, cookie. The ABC 15 investigators filed records requests asking the VA for copies of similar claims, benefits denied. The VA's response, those records do not exist. How do you do? I'm Judy Luby. We got Judy in contact with the American Legion. The stress level that has been put on me has been tremendous. And this has gone on for 16 months. It caused, causes me grief to think about that. But they should have acted when she was filing they, all her paperwork. I agree. And 48 hours later... Dear Mrs. Luby. Judy's claim was approved. $1,400 a month and more than $20,000 in back pay. If Channel 15 had not gotten involved, I would have never seen this paperwork. I can guarantee it. The VA refused to talk on camera. I would say we have lessons learned agreeing only to answer questions by phone. And I apologize to Mrs. Luby for the, for the time that it did take us to process her claim, and I appreciate Channel 15's help in helping us get that done. The VA says its staff may have failed to follow proper procedure, resulting in Judy's case being denied. Just last month, the VA acknowledged a computer glitch resulted in millions of dollars in benefits being denied to widows. If you've had problems with the VA, go to abc15.com and click on the Investigators tab at the top of your page. We've put together links and contacts that can help you resolve your claim. I'm Investigator Josh Bernstein, ABC 15 News.